So these are like all my people. My people. I've never really, you know, had any health problems. Could I be in the gym a little more? Yes, <laughs> but um, I exercised nothing but clean bills of health. So I think I was a perfectly healthy 49-year-old woman. I was scheduled to go to the Girl Scouts breakfast. I didn't put my makeup on, but that's not unusual. Sometimes if I'm running a little past where I want to be, I may put it on in the car, not driving, at the stoplights. When I got to the Hyatt, I just got out of the car, had forgotten all about the makeup. And anybody who knows me knows that I would not go into a room full of hundreds of people at an event without makeup on. I sat down, I took a bite of sausage, and that's the last thing I really clearly remember for 10 days. From what I understand, I had a seizure at the Hyatt. They called for a doctor. Um, they called 911. Before I went into the ambulance, I apparently had a second seizure. And uh, then I was taken to Sinai. I was talking a little bit because the doctor was asking me things like, you know, who's the president of the United States? Then my um, speech start, started to get a little slurred. And um, that's when he apparently said, we need to rush her to St. Luke's. I was rushed to Aurora St. Luke's Medical Center and I was in neurological ICU for 10 days. I had a little facial drooping in the beginning and the right side of my um, body was not as strong as the left side. I could not speak for three and a half weeks. I would understand when people talked to me at the hospital, but I just didn't talk. It was the strangest thing. It's just like God flipped a switch and said, okay, you can speak now. And I started speaking. Now I wasn't speaking as well as I am now, but I could form sentences. So it really wasn't until April that I woke up. I remember clearly, I woke up one day and the first thing in my mind was, I think my mind's back in order. And after that, I, I felt myself totally. In January, that is when I was totally off of warfarin and Keppra. And on that day in January, he told me that I am fully recovered. My MRI showed that my brain is back in action. He said I had a 0 to 0.1% chance of having another stroke. And I just, I just am just thankful to God. But I had decided to take a 50th birthday trip to South Africa in August. Did that, it was fantastic. I got to ride an elephant. I got to see another part of the world. There was really nothing, you know, in my history that should cause a stroke. So what the doctors told me is the likely cause was the fact that I was taking birth control pills and I was over the age of 40. Talk to your doctors. Make sure any medication that they prescribe for you, you know how it impacts you. Talk about the risks because let's face it, we don't all read the fine print. It's important for everyone to learn to spot a stroke fast. If the face is drooping, if there is arm weakness, if there is speech difficulty, it's definitely time to call 911. I was able to get immediate attention and I know that was the difference in my recovery. I know it for a fact. There's no doubt in my mind. I know I could have been dead or I could have been debilitated for the rest of my life. This, while an unfortunate experience, is something that allows me to make a difference because I can show other people that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Making a difference is why.